Are you gay? Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for that. Ew. Okay. Blush. Hey guys, today we are going to be watching Wild Child. Now, if you don't know what this movie is, this movie is kind of a staple for anyone kind of around my age. I feel like a lot of people know about it that are around my age. It's kind of similar to the Angus Thongs and Perfect Snoggings type of vibe, type of era, I would say. Um, it stars Emma Roberts. It's so good. I love this movie. It also has Alex Pettifer in it. We also know Alex Pettifer from I Am Number Four and Beastly. So he's just like a reoccurring actor on this channel. Thanks, Alex Pettifer. I'm not giving you a check. You guys have been requesting this one a lot. I think it's because I've done movies like She's the Man and Angus Thomas Perfect Songing. It kind of fits into that realm of film so i'm really excited it's one of my favorite movies that's pretty much it there's nothing more to say we're about to be filled with nostalgia right now and if you can hear my fan it's because it's hot i'm living in the texas heat right now so if you can hear it mind your business and deal with it thanks this movie came out the same year as prom I literally thought prom, the movie prom, you know what I'm talking about with the like motorcycle guy and the girl and they have to like make prom together. Like that movie, I thought that came out in like 2013. It came out in 2011, the same year as this movie. I literally thought this movie was from 2005. I thought Wild Child was from 2005. Shit. I love a good soundtrack. Early 2000s movies, their soundtracks are so, so amazing. You did that for what? Oh, I love how edited that is. I love that. Also, I love how I know that guy, her like boyfriend, because he's from Make It or Break It. He was from the pizza shop where Emily worked. Oh my God. This IMDB in my head. What, you think just because mom went to boarding school in England, it's gonna magically straighten me out? That is the point of the movie though. The whole point of the movie is so you go to boarding school and get straightened out. I think you might have pushed him too far this time. She seems super close with her sister and the sister never shows up later in the movie. So, and she never, I don't think she calls her. I don't think she even thinks about her. She's never like, oh my God, I miss my sister. She's like, I miss my friends. Ruby, you're my best friend. I'm gonna miss you so much. Oh my gosh. And that girl, that girl was on, oh my goodness. She was on American Horror Story season one where she bullied Violet and then Violet bullied her back and with Tate. Founded in 1796. Seven? Whoa. School is one of England's top institutions for young ladies? If I saw that, I would be like, hell yeah, I'm I'm freaking House of Anubis in this hoe. Like, I am literally going to be going to House of Anubis. Hello? How are you? Ew. Hello. How are you? I kind of hate how all media throughout like time has demonized the girl who cares about her looks or is like I don't know kind of like the outline of what the mean girl is supposed to be when like honestly like the mean girl is kind of like cute I mean come on and it's always like when they are down to earth now they like take off all their style they wear like a t-shirt and jeans and they're humble but it's like you can still be humble in a cute corset you know three sundays for everyone oh. thanks a lot for that thanks a lot thanks a lot thanks a lot for that thanks a lot thanks a lot for that thanks a lot for that dot and fyi no drinking no honestly so cute those shoes I would like a pair. The way they styled her uniform looks absolutely beautiful. I love the way they styled her uniform. The belt, how it tucks in the skirt, the cropped jacket. Fashion, I love it so much. Do you guys have any eyebrow tints? Oh my gosh, it looks like such a scary movie. Oh, oh. That is butters. 
Better not stop me pulling at the social. Honey, eyebrows are the... I really don't understand why they did that to her character. Like, what purpose did it serve our story? Did it make anything funny? Because I didn't think dark eyebrows, like, made it funny. I don't know. Hey, who's that? Uh, Poppy? I love how calm he is that someone just came into his bathroom from the window while he was taking a little bath. <laughs> Shouldn't you guys be in bikinis for that? Oh, ew. That was an awful, awful sentence, Alex Pettifer. Don't try and hide it, honey. We've got ourselves a Sula. Sweaty upper lip alert. I've never stopped saying that in all my life, and I never will stop saying that because I think it is a wonderful saying that really captures sweaty upper lip alert. Like, oh my god, I got a Sula, sweaty upper lip alert. Our leading light was the girl who was Princess Diana's foot doctor. So if your aim is to make the pages of Us Weekly, then this isn't the place for you. But she has been saying that this is not the place for her. Why are you trying to convince her that this is not the place for her? She's like, I don't want to be here. And she's like, you don't want to be here. <laughs> like, I don't get that. Oh, the Natalie Portman <gasps> pictures. Charlotte heard Freddie say I looked exactly like Kira Knightley. That was Kira Knightley, not Natalie Portman. Guys, I, someone, please, I'm, I'm literally begging you, someone tell me the difference between Natalie Portman and Kira Knightley, because I don't know who they are. I mean, I know who they are, but I can't tell them apart. Oh. <gasps> so sorry, oh. just can't trust the help these days. Do you have a pass to be out during lessons? Oh, yeah, I do. It's right here i just like how everyone is trying to make this like a horrible time for her and they're like we don't want you here and she's like i don't want to be here like they're like we don't want you to be in this school and she's like neither do i <sighs> why are there some parts of this movie where it really does look like a horror movie i like how she walked past like the fire extinguishers and she's just like oh just a normal day, going to the pool. But there's like fire extinguishers, like soap, like all this trash right next to the entrance. She's just like, hey queen. I've never met anyone that would look at that and think it's that funny. Be bloody leaveable. Oh, she is a horse girl, wonderful. At least she's trying to leave. It'd be a nightmare if she stayed. She makes a mockery of the system. <laughs> She's not staying. Who the fuck likes the system? Who's like, oh my god, I'm here for the system? No, as a society, as the people, we say, fuck the system. Because the system is flawed and the system fails people. I don't I am going on a whole rant about the government and they're talking about their school system. <laughs> I'm sorry, who would look under their car like that to get grab their keys? No one. Oh, come on, Poppy, we're gonna miss the bus. Don't forget to log off now, you ninny. The amount of times we've had so many issues in film due to people not logging out of their email account is crazy. They've never made montage scenes like they did in this era. Like, sorry. Like, I love how they just was like, yes, just throw all the clips together and deal with it. <laughs> I like how they got nothing accomplished. Remember what I taught you guys? Who are we? Sorry, I just did it with them. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry. You look so... English. English is modest, I guess. I don't like that little dancing circle. I don't like how it just can only fit like one or two people. That 
seems mortifying to jump up on there during a school dance. Incandescent hat. Okay. Cool. Okay. Oh, this music is everything. I'm sorry. Hips, hips, and butts. Lips, Ooh. hips, <laughs> hips, and butts. This was also a Vine edit song. Don't, don't forget it. Don't forget it. That's probably one of my favorite things that anyone does is they slow-mo the dancing so you can't tell how they're actually dancing. That would be my worst nightmare to be in the center of that trying to dance. Like that just looks so... Hey. <laughs> you so don't need to play hard to get. I'm totally into you. <laughs> Come on. Bold. So bold. Okay. I can't imagine being rejected for a kiss twice, though. The fact that she's still, like, content, I would be- Are you gay? Are you gay? Uh, just English. No. Sorry. No. Are you gay? No. No. I'm English. Sorry. Nice work, Kate. Is that guy supposed to dress up- Is was he dressed up as Channing Tatum? I think so. You haven't done it, have you? So no, I mean, I couldn't admit it back home, so I kind of lied, but... I'm a total nun! Welcome to the nunnery! <laughs> what a great way to say that you are a virgin. Welcome to the nunnery. <laughs> Thanks! A romantic stroll around the school grounds. <laughs> hey, yeah, cool. You out of your mind? Call me old-fashioned, but I actually do quite like living. I actually do quite like leaving. Why does he like make me laugh? Like I feel like it's he's funny. I thought you said you could drive. It's not my fault your stupid car doesn't work. Have you ever thought of changing gears? That's the car's job. They are literally on a hill trying to have her drive manual for the first time. Fuck that. And on the opposite side of how she usually drives. Sorry, chattering away like this. Uh, feel free to shut me up. Well. Remind me never to get on your bad side. But the thing is, I'm pretty sure you don't have one. Oh my god. Oh my god. Like, it kind of makes me roll my eyes. It kind of makes me a little blush. I don't know what I just said. Like, it kind of makes me roll my eyes, but it's kind of cute too, you know? If I affect your life in no other way, allow me this honor. The humble chip butty. I'm gonna be honest, that looks very bad. It literally just looks like mush. Kind of gross, but um, I like it. What if she's like, just like you? <laughs> kind of gross, but I like it. Just like how I feel about you. Something about you, Poppy Moon. Every moment I'm with you, I catch my breath. We've had two moments together, shut up. Should I give up? Or should I just keep chasing payments, even if it leads the way? Literally one of the best glee performances also. Still, they're so thick they'll never realize. I'll be out of this asylum by the end of term. I didn't write that. I mean, hardly any of it, just the loser part. But that was weeks ago. Well, it's dated today. Who printed an email? Who printed an email? You should know that is the first error. That someone printed an email. You can't believe I actually wrote this. All we did was to try to make your life here happier, Poppy. Did you try to make her life here happier? You were helping her get expelled. Because you didn't want her here and she didn't want to be here either. So... Shit. Okay, stupid. Who, like, has a lighter and just... They're like, oh my god, I'm next to the drapes, let me move it around like an, like an actual idiot. She's like, this is my karma for sneaking into the fridge. Come on, darling, get up. It's a fire, it's not a drill. Come on. <laughs> she saved the cat before she saved her son. She's like, I got my cat. Okay, Freddy, you coming? Come on, girls, who was the last person to see Drippy? The freezer. Drippy's in the freezer! But the fact that, like, 
after that long, she would be stuck in there. Poppy ran back, laid in bed, got back up until it exploded, and then was like, oh my god, let me, let me go tell people. Like, I feel like she would be dead, but she's in the fridge, so. So many people and not one person can stop her. Not even the firefighters. She doesn't even have any like soot on her or anything. She's just not even sweating. Like both of them are not even sweating as they were just in the like the main room of the fire. Why are you allowed in there, Freddy? Why are you allowed? The weird thing is, I really did try to turn it around. I didn't want to disappoint you. I'm so sorry. It sounds so fake. I'm sorry. I know she's like actually being genuine right now as a character, but it sounds so fake. Yeah. Do you think maybe you could get this stuff ready for me? She's like, you know what? No. I don't, I don't think I will because you almost killed the whole school, miss. She made her an arts and crafts? I thought she wrote her a letter. No, she gave him a DIY project. So you backed out of our deal? What deal? Is this his house? Oh, it literally looks like his house. But you poached my heart. Hey. Oh my god, he looks so big right there. He's looked small this entire movie and he just looked huge. He literally looks so big. What happened? He literally looks so tiny throughout this entire movie. He looks huge. Look at his she thumb just grazing her thumb like that. Sorry, I'm sorry. I've had a hole in my heart for five years and somehow being here, it slowly started to heal. I know I may have looked like a California girl, but. What if she was like, Mrs. Kingsley is my mom? And Freddy's my brother? Oh my god. That would have been so funny. She was like, um, you're my mom. I've decided. You've been mother figure to me, so now you're my mom. Was there anyone else with you? Not as far as I know. I was. 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 This is like that scene in Sex Education where like, it's my vagina. They all go like, it's my vagina, it's my vagina. This is an it's my vagina moment. What lighter, Harriet? Jesus, Charlotte, how daft can you possibly be? That ridiculous I heart LA lighter of hers. <gasps> she left it behind for God's sakes. Except, how do you know that, Harriet? Oh my gosh, bringing up evidence in a court. Bring out evidence from a case in the court that no one else has already mentioned prior. You've turned this school upside down. You've ruined everything. You started it. I only finished what you started. Harriet, <laughs> my office now. And the defendant is, no, that's not what you say. Not guilty. Sorry. Oh my God, my cat just came out of nowhere and she's shaved so she looks so gross. I have to bring her up, I'm so sorry. Hey queen. Hey, Queen. She's the spitting image of her mother, isn't she? But like, haven't you noticed that your daughter looks like your wife so already? Funny. She looks like your wife regardless if she has brown hair or not. <laughs> Where's our good old boy, Freddy? Alex Pettifer, where is he? Seems like a foul to me, but whatever. Actually, I have no idea what. I have n n no knowledge of lacrosse in, in my noggin, so I can't say if it's accurate or not. Dad? My dad? My, my, my dad. Ah, ah! <laughs> I was trying. Harriet, we I think you forgot this. Oh my god, that's literally the most terrifying thing I've ever seen. Oh my god! Why didn't you? Where's the Freddy? 
Why did I think there was a scene with Freddy and Poppy at the end? Why do I feel like this was like the most fun movie to film ever? What a great movie. Like I love to see it because it's such a like a little fun movie. Also not to mention that I would all like I would recommend this movie to people when I was like 14. So like a long time after the movie had already been out, I was recommending it to people. And I was like, have you seen Wild Child? And they're like, no, I have no idea what that is. And I was like, but you should watch it. Literally only for the fact that it had Emma Roberts and Alex Pettifer in it. For like no other reason would I recommend it. I was literally just like, mm. well, Alex Pettifer is in it and I like two of his other movies. I don't even like them. I've seen his other movies. I will say the ending is a little underwhelming. I don't like the book cross ending. I wish it had a different ending. I wish there was like another scene afterwards, but they were just like, let's end it with lacrosse. Cause we know how much of an important role that played into this movie. Anyways, that was my commentary on Wild Child. A lot of you guys have been requesting it, so I thought I would do it for you. So I hope you feel satisfied by it. Let me know any other movies you want me to watch in the comment section down below. I know I usually don't ask for requests, but if you would like to leave a request, leave it on this video because I will be looking at the comments. Also, try to recommend movies that other people are recommending. I know that sounds weird, but whenever it is just random movies, like, it doesn't help me at all because it's like, okay, I have one request for Interstellar and one request for Batman and one request for like a teen coming of age movie like I need I need you guys to have some like I need you guys to come together as an audience and pick a movie like I wish I need you guys to do that because it's easier that way that was it thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and leave a comment down below make sure you guys follow me on instagram and twitter twitter at level trim and instagram at tcloud level make sure you follow me on twitter because I post a lot about what types of videos I'm doing I ask for requests a lot on twitter so if you would like to request movies go to twitter and before leaving don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell as well if you would like to be notified every single time I post a video Thank you for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye.